Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Jay bringing you your fan park news, your number one source, everything going on in the football world daily. Now let's get into this. The number one saga and the ongoing saga in the football world right now is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's almost expected arrival at Arsenal. He was pictured today apparently leaving Dortmund Airport, flying to London for his medical at Arsenal and it looked all and well set that he is going to be signing for the North London club. However, this deal doesn't seem as simple as Arsenal paying what Dortmund want for the player. It seems that this deal is not going to go through unless Dortmund do sign a replacement striker. However, this replacement striker seems to be Chelsea's Michi Batshuayi. As it currently stands, it doesn't seem as simple as Aubameyang going to Arsenal and Michi Batshuayi going to Dortmund because Chelsea at the moment do not want to let go of Michi Batshuayi considering the fact that their main man Alvaro Morata is actually out injured. Now with the transfer window closing in England tomorrow and Chelsea also having a game tomorrow against Bournemouth, they are not going to want to go into the game without a recognised striker. Now this could be what holds the move actually going through. Now by the time this video goes out, Arsenal will be set to be taken on Swansea in the Premier League. Now the main thing to look out for will be whether Olivier Giroud is in the Arsenal squad. Now why this is important because Olivier Giroud looks set to be the Batshuayi replacement at Chelsea if this deal is all to go through. Now to recap that in short, Aubameyang goes to Arsenal, Giroud goes to Chelsea and then Batshuayi goes to Dortmund and everyone's happy. Now like I just previously said, it does look like Batshuayi is set to stay at Chelsea because they currently do not have a recognised striker. So unless the Giroud transfer does can go through in time, it doesn't look like this deal may happen as it expected to happen. Now of course this isn't exactly how it has to go. Of course there are other many strikers out there that Dortmund could sign but with time not on their hands, we could see this go really down to the wire. However, in confirmed signings, Man City have actually bolstered their defence in signing French centre-back from Atletico Bilbao, Amaric Leporte. Now, it wasn't too long ago that Pep was talking about that Man City don't really have the funds to spend big, but they've spent nearly 60 million on the player to bring him from the Liga to the Premier League. Now, at the age of 23, he looks like he could potentially have a very long career at Man City, because then he was very well established in the Atletico Bilbao team, and probably one of the best young centre-backs in the world at the moment. And with the Leporte departure, Bilbao did not waste any time in getting a replacement and they signed Igneo Martinez from direct rivals Real Sociedad. However, it's not all happy days at the moment for Man City with one player coming in. It looks like one's going to be out for quite a little while and Leo Sane is apparently going to be ruled out for up to six to eight weeks after a horror tackle he did face against Coventry in the FA Cup this weekend. He was substituted at halftime as a precaution but scans and results have shown that this is going to be a lengthy timeout for the young German winger. And with that news, Man City actually have made a bid for Leicester's Riyad Mahrez. Now, it was rumoured that the fee was around 50 million and Leicester did actually reject the first offer. There was also a second offer for a slightly improved bid and Leicester rejected it again, which has seen the winger hand in a formal transfer request to try and see this deal over the line before 11 p.m. tomorrow. This is absolutely unreal. Now, sticking with Leicester, it may coincide with why they're so reluctant to let Mahrez go because they've just let striker Ahmed Musa re-sign to his former club CS came Oscar on loan until the end of the season. The Nigerian striker signed for a club record fee at the time of 16 million and over the last 18 months has only made 18 appearances and scored two goals. Now this deal has actually come after Leicester allowed Leonardo Uchoa to rejoin Brighton on loan so that's two strikers out and also Islan Simlani might be on his way out. So in terms of out and out strikers Leicester only have Vardy, Okazaki and Ian Nacho and of course with one injury or two injury it could really leave them lacking real firepower up front so you could imagine why they really didn't want to let Mares go. Now on another potential sign and Tottenham look all set and done to sign Lucas Moura from PSG. So the Brazilian had fallen out of favour especially with the signings of Mbappe and Neymar so the move to London could be what he needs to reignite his career for a fee around 25 million which was pretty perfect for him especially considering you've got the World Cup coming up very soon and of course he really needs game time to prove he should be in that squad going to Russia in the summer. The deal was actually agreed on Monday and there are pictures of him arriving in London St Pancras via the Eurostar and he's apparently having his medical today and the deal should be announced either by the time this video comes out or at some point tomorrow on deadline day. And finally, the last story of today has actually been announced that England's opening game of the newly formed UEFA Nations League is actually going to be played behind closed doors. Now, this comes after a game between Croatia and Italy played in 2015 and it seemed that a swastika was actually carved into the pitch. But that is going to be it for the end of the day. What do you think about any of the stories we covered today? Of course, leave your comments down below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you drop a like. And again, as always, we will see you tomorrow with your next installment of Fan Park.